Okay, this will be topic 2.6, solving nonlinear inequalities. Okay, here we have a nonlinear, this is a quadratic in fact, and inequality, it has, we have the greater than or less than sign. All right, the way we start off is first we take a look at this. This is greater than or equal to zero. Make, we make sure that it's set against zero. This being greater than zero means that at the end we're going to look for positive pieces. And furthermore, because there's an equal sign here, all our um, lines that we write are going to be closed. Okay? Closed because we have an equal sign here. All right. Now that we kind of analyze what we're looking for at the end, let's go ahead and break this down. I'm going to get rid of this temporarily and just make and set this equal to zero itself and solve for x to find points along my number line. Now I'm going to try to solve this first by factoring this trinomial into two binomials. And I have, let's say, 2x times x. And then for the 3, let's try um, 1 times 3. Let's see if that works. 1 times 3. And let's check it out. 1 times x is 1x. 6 times, or two, 2 x times 3 is 6 x. The signs have to be different. And they have to add up to 5 x. So negative and positive here, negative positive, this will give us 5x. And so negative and positive here. So now when I solve these individually, I have 2x equals 0 and x plus 3 equals 0. And this right here solves to, I'm oh sorry, 2x minus 1 equals 0 implies 2x equals 1. And 2x equals 1 implies x is 1 half. Here, x plus 3 equals 0 implies that x is negative 3. Okay, so we have two values here. Those two values, we're going to put those on a number line. Now, just as a reminder, all of this was basically the old stuff that we did of just kind of solving for these two points here. So our points are, are uh, negative 3 and 1 half. We put those on the number line. Then we look back to our original right here. Okay, first the points will be closed, so these two numbers right here will be closed. And secondly, we're looking for positive pieces. Now I want to know if this area, this area, this area are positive, so I'm going to use test points in this area, this area, and this area to see if this is open, sorry, if this is positive or negative. So let's begin by using for test point any point that's on this side, let's use Let's say x equals negative 10. To test this area, I want to use x equals 0. And to test this area, I want to use x equals positive 10. OK. So let's put these back into the original. Well, I can put it actually back in here and kind of see if it's positive or negative. So let's try negative 10. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20, and a negative 1 remains negative. Um, Negative 10 plus 3 is negative. A negative answer multiplied by a negative answer is positive. So this area is a positive area with positive answers. If x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0 minus 1 is negative. 0 plus 3 is positive. A negative answer times a positive answer gives us negative answers. So this area all contains negative answers. And finally, if, if x equals 10, we have 2 times 10 is 20, minus 1, which is still positive. 10 plus 3 is positive. A positive number times a positive number gives us a positive answer. So all answers here will be positive. Now, we're looking for the positive answers, which are located in this area and this area. So we're going to represent the solutions that are found in this area by negative infinity till we get to 3, bracket, union this piece right here, which is, let's get that out of the way, um, bracket 1 half to positive infinity. And this is the solution to this original problem here. Okay. All right, let's do another one.
3x squared minus 13x minus 10 is less than 0. Okay. All right, first of all, we want to make an analysis of what's going on here. Um, numbers that are less than 0 means that we're looking for negative numbers. There's no equal sign, so our points will be open. Again, there's no equal sign. All right, so let's um, solve this for 0. So 3x squared minus 13x minus 10. And it's actually not equal 0, but it's going to solve the same. So even if you keep this as an equal sign, don't worry about it. It's still going to solve. OK, I'm going to solve this by factoring this into two binomials. So this will be 3x times x for 3x squared. And let's factor 10 into 2 times 5. This will give me 2x, and this will give me 15x. The signs will have to be different, and we have to have negative 13x as a result. So let's use positive 2 and negative 15. This will give us our negative 13x. So positive, negative, positive, negative. All right, furthermore, uh, we're going to solve each of these factors for 0. So we have 3x plus 2 set equal to 0, and x minus 5 set equal to 0. And I know I have the do not equal signs, but you know, just, this, just to help me to remember, it's supposed to be open when we're finished. OK, 3x plus 2 equals 0 implies 3x equals negative 2. And 3x equals negative 2 implies that x equals negative 2 thirds. Here, x minus 5 equals 0 implies x equals 5. All right, now that we have our two answers, we're going to put those answers on a number line. Okay, here's the normal line. And here's where our answers will go. Negative 2 thirds and 5. Okay, now that we put our numbers on a number line, this is all the old stuff that we did before. Okay, and now starting here comes our new stuff. All right, here we go. First, the points will be open. So open that, and that's open. Uh, next, I'm looking for negative pieces. So I'm going to use test points to test what these areas are. This area, I'm going to test by saying x is negative 10. I'm going to test this area in between using x equals 0. I'm going to test this area right here by x is 10. OK. And I'm going to use the factors here rather than trying to put in these x's there. So 3 times negative 10 gives me negative 30 plus 2, which is still negative. Um, negative 10 on negative 5 is negative. A negative times a negative gives me a positive answer. So all the answers in this area are positive. Now if x is 0, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is positive. 0 take away 5 is a negative answer. So a positive answer times a negative answer gives us a negative result. So all answers in here will end up being negative. And finally here, if x is 10, 3 times 10 is 30 plus 2 is positive. 10 take away 5 is positive. So positive answers times other positive answers will give us positive answers. So everything within this area will be positive. Now, according to this, I'm looking for the negative parts of this graph, which all occur right here. So this will be represented as x is from negative 2 thirds, all the numbers between negative 2 thirds and 5, but not including the ends because they're open. And that's our solution. We're going to go through the analysis of what we're being asked for. So this is set against 0. So we can conclude that because this is greater than 0, finally we'll be looking for positive parts. And we do have an equal sign, so our points will be closed, again, because of the equal sign. So let's set all this equal to 0 and solve for points. 
So 9 minus x squared equals 0. This is a difference of two squares, so this will factor into two binomials that are conjugates, 3 minus x and 3 plus x. Here, I have 3 minus x equals 0, and I have 3 plus x equals 0. Well, 3 minus x equals 0 implies that x is positive 3. And 3 plus x equals 0 implies that x is negative 3. All right, so let's put all that on the number line. We have negative 3 and 3. Again, all this is our old stuff that we learned before. And this is now coming to our new stuff. Okay, so closed circles. We have closed circles here. Okay. And we're looking for positive portions of this graph. So let's do some test points. Let's say we have x is negative 10 to test this area. x is negative 10 to test this area x equals 0, and to test this area, let's use x equals positive 10. Okay. 3 minus a negative 10 is 3 plus 10, which is positive. 3 plus a negative 10 is a negative answer. Negative answer. So a positive answer times a negative answer means that all these answers are negative. If x is 0, we have 3 minus 0, which is positive. Zero, 3 plus 0 is also positive. So positive answers times positive answers is positive. So this entire area here contains positive answers. Now if x is 10, 3 minus 10 gives us a negative answer. But 3 plus 10 gives us a positive answer. So we have negative answers times positive answers, which create negative answers. So this entire area is negative. Now, we're looking for only the positive pieces, so this is the only area that we need. So this area is all the x's that are from negative 3, including, that's why I use a bracket, to positive 3, bracket. So our solutions are within here. Okay, for number 4, we're going to put that on YouTube. which is 9x minus 6x squared is less than or equal to 0. Okay, the next nonlinears will be rational functions. Okay, for rationals, we have numerators and we have denominators. The denominators will always be open. The numerators will depend on the original problem. Okay, so we'll, again, the numerator, we'll look at the original, the denominator, It'll always be open. So number one, we have 3x minus 6 all over x plus 4. And that's going to be set greater than 0. OK. All right, what we do here is we remove the numerator and denominator. We give them their own place and set both equal to 0 against 0. Oh, I'm sorry, never finished this. OK. Here, this is all greater than 0. Numbers that are greater than 0 are positive numbers. The numerator will follow the original problem, which is no equal sign, so this will be open. So the numerator will be open because there is no equal sign. All right, so let's take the numerator off. 3x minus 6 equal to 0. Denominator off, four, um, x plus 4 not equal to 0. And again, the reason why I use not equal for the numerator, because it follows the original, which is not open. The denominator is always open. OK, so 3x minus 6 equals 0 implies 3x equals 6. And 3x equals 6 implies x equals 2. 
x plus 4 equals 0 implies x equals negative 4. So those are our two numbers for our number line. Negative 4 and a 2. Okay. Now, the 2 was a part of the numerator. And the numerator follows the original, which is open. The negative 4 came from the denominator, which is always open. Okay. Next, we need to determine what parts are positive. So I'm going to use test points of x equals negative 10 to check out this area, x equals 0 to check this area out, and then x equals positive 10 to check this last area. Okay. If x is negative 10, we get 3 times negative 10. Um, which is negative 30 minus 6, which is all negative. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative. A negative answer divided by a ne negative answer is a positive answer. If x is 0, 3 times 0, take away 6 is negative. But 0 plus 4 is positive. A negative answer times a positive answer is a negative. And finally, um, if x is 10, 3 times 10 is 30. Take away 6 is a positive answer. 10 plus 4 is 14, so that's a positive answer. So a positive times a positive, divided by a positive, is positive. So these two areas right here are what we need. So we would say the solutions for x are found from negative infinity till we get the 4, with a parenthesis, because this is open union this part right here, which is from 2 to positive infinity, open parenthesis. And those are our solutions. Okay. All right, let's take a look at number 2. Number 2, we have 5x plus 10 all over x squared minus 16, and this is going to be less than or equal to 0. Okay, a little bit of analysis. This portion right here, since it's this is set less than 0, less than 0 means we're looking for negative numbers. Here, we have an equal sign, so that means that the numerator will be closed. Okay. So I'm going to take the numerator and denominator off and solve them separately for 0. So we have 5x plus 10 set equal to 0, set equal to 0. And we have our x squared minus 16, and that's not equal to, okay, because it's, um, the um, denominator is always open. Okay, now let's begin to solve for x. 5x plus 10 equals 0 implies 5x equals negative 10. And 5x equals negative 10 implies that x equals negative 2. Here, x squared minus 16 equals 0 can be factored into two conjugates. The conjugates will be x plus 4 times x minus 4. That's the difference of two squares. Now, x plus 4 set equal to 0, and x minus 4 is set equal to 0. x plus 4 equals 0 implies that x equals negative 4, and x minus 4 equals 0 implies that x equals positive 4. So, we have a total of three um, points to graph. The negative 4, the negative 2, and the 4. All right. Let's start over here. The negative 4 came over here from the denominator. So it's going to be open. The negative 2 right here came from the numerator. So it's going to follow the original problem, which is closed. The 4 here, right here, came from the denominator. So it will always be open. And now we need to find test points. 
here, I'm going to use x is negative 10, here, x is negative 3, here, x is 0, and here, x is 10. All right, so let's begin. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, 5 times negative 10 is negative 50 plus 10 is negative. Um, negative 10 squared is 100 take away 16. 100 take away 16 is positive. So a negative dot of a positive is negative. Now if x is negative 3, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Negative 15 plus 10 is negative. Negative 3 squared is 9. 9 take away 16 is negative. So a negative divided by negative makes this area positive. If x is 0, 5 times 0 is 0 plus 10 is positive. 0 squared is 0 minus 16 is negative. So a positive divided by negative will be negative. And x equals 10, 5 times 10 is 50 plus 10 more is positive. 10 squared is 100 take away 16, which is a positive answer. So a positive numerator divided by a positive denominator means this entire area will be positive. And now we're looking for the negative areas, which are here and here. Therefore, let's use um, this area right here will be represented by negative infinity to 4, open parenthesis, because that's an open dot. And this area will be represented by a bracket, negative 2 to 4, and this right here will be a parenthesis. And so this will be our solution for x. Okay. Number three. Number three, we have 3x minus 6 all over x is greater than or equal to 2. You notice that this is not set against 0, so we're going to have to fix that and make sure that it is set against 0. The way we do that, we're going to pull the 2 to the other side, so we'll have 3x minus 6 all over x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0, and now it's set against 0. Now I need to make this a rational, so I need to give this the same denominator as this. So we'll take 3x minus 6 all over x minus 2 and multiply the 2 by x over x. This will give us 3x minus 6 all over x minus 2x over x. And when we combine these two, the 3x and the negative 2x will combine for an x minus 6 all over x. Okay. And so now we have a rational on one side set against 0 on the other side. And from there, we're going to start our processes before. So, x minus 6 all over x is greater than or equal to 0. This right here means we're um, looking for positive pieces because it's greater than 0. And the equal sign means this, this will be closed for the numerator. So, our numerator, x minus 6, is set equal to 0. And our denominator over here is set equal to 0. OK, x minus 6 equals 0 implies that x equals 6. And x uh, equal to 0 implies x equals 0. So now we put our two answers on the board. We have 0 and 6. Our test points, let's use x equals negative 10 for here, x equals 3 for this part, and x equals positive 10 for the last part. So, as I put x in here, um, negative 10 and negative 6 together make a negative answer. Negative 10 all by itself is negative. So a negative answer divided by a negative answer is positive. Now, if x is 3, we have 3 minus 6. That's negative. But 3 by itself is positive. So negative divided by positive will be negative. So all answers within there will be negative. Now if x is 10, 10 minus 6 is positive. 10 by itself is positive. Positive answer divided by positive answer 
is positive. So we're looking for the positive portions here, and I forgot to put down here, uh, the numerator will be closed. So 6 is closed, my fault, didn't ever put that down there, closed. But the denominator is always open, so 0 will be open. So this portion right here, it will be negative infinity until I get to 0 with a parenthesis for the um, 0. And this portion right here will be closed parenthesis 6 to positive infinity. Okay, And that will be the solution for x there. Number 4 will be x plus 4 all over 3x is less than or equal to 1. And number 4 will be found on YouTube as well. <laughs>